It's Matt, we're back with another episode of America's Best Restaurants. This is a special one for me because I grew up eating Dixie Chili in Erlanger. In fact, I won't say what we did, but I got kicked out about every week after high school football games, we would hang out there. I'm with Spiros of Dixie Chili. How are right. you today? Couldn't be any better. So, How are you? I'm amazing now that I'm here because I, I, know, I know what I'm getting ready to eat. A lot of You're restaurants. You're starting to look hungry. Starting to look hungry. A lot of restaurants we interview, I've never eaten the food. I've eaten Dixie Chili a million times, so I know what goodness is in store. Tell us about Dixie Chili. You said this location was first in 1929? Correct. My father started this with seven stools behind that wall over there. Um, I had a little kitchen where he had a pot and that's where he made his first chili. Um, it was not easy and um, he eventually rented the space around it, that room, and then he rented beyond this column here. He rented that space, eventually bought it, lived upstairs. He had three children by that time. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> because he had been all over working. And, yeah. And uh, so that's how it started. And in Cincinnati, a lot of people know Cincinnati style chili. Uh, this to me is my favorite. And I'm not saying that because I'm here with you. I just right. I grew up with it. But tell everybody because the most of the country doesn't have Cincinnati style chili. I have what we have here. Tell us about what it is, and you're from Greece, so what is it? All right, well, there were three um, men that came from a certain area of northern Greece. It's around a freshwater lake called uh, Castoria. It was Karagia from Empress Chile, my father, Sarah Katsanas, and then the third one was um, Lambernides from Skyline. Yep. So these were all Greek men, and that's they came, the Empress people came here, they put Greek spices in the chili that they use in Greek dishes like moussaka, pastizo, so forth. And they put those spices in there and they put it on a hot dog and that was it. I mean, it was a hot dog stand within a burlesque theater. Yeah. And, and that's how it all started. And my father eventually came and worked for him probably in 1928. They had started in 1924, and uh, he said, well, I can make this kind of chili. I'll go across the river and start my own, and I won't be competing with you. So that's how it started. He came over in a bus from Dixie Terminal, went on Dixie Highway, and he said, well, that's a good name. <laughs> and Dixie Chili. I didn't know that. I always yeah. assumed there was a some tie in there. Right. So. Uh, our goal is to show consumers a place they ought to eat weekly. You can eat at Dixie Chili daily. But For what are sure. three items that you would tell somebody that maybe hasn't been to Dixie Chili before they got to have on their visit? Wow, we have so many different items, but the three-way, of course, is the favorite. Yep. And those ways go up to six with fresh garlic, fresh chopped garlic on top. And then we have, of course, the cheese conies with um, a hot dog and bun and mustard and chili and onion and cheese. And then uh, my one of my favorites are chili salads. It's like a ta taco salad, but um, we have a little ranch dressing in there. And then, of course, we have all kinds of foods. I make my own salad dressings. We have a vegetable soup, vegetarian vegetable soup that was my mother's from Europe. And we have vegetarian chili, and I have sandwiches. A lot and of great desserts. Greek salads. Yeah, yeah great desserts. So. Cool. cool. Yeah, people do eat here every day. Yeah. Yeah, I have customers that eat every day. And we're open seven days a week, so. Cool. Well, let's hit the kitchen. Let's get these things made, and we'll come back, and we'll show you how awesome they are. All right. Thank you. Okay, we're back. We've got some items on the table. We've got the three that we talked about. We've got a three-way, banana six-way, the upgraded version. That's what my dad gets. And uh, then we've got a chili salad. We've got some conies with mustard and onions. And then we've got some ones without onions. Let's start with the six-way. What goes into this? Tell us about it. This is chili and spaghetti. 
with onions and pinto beans and fresh chopped garlic. That's what my dad gets. Now you can get this with chili spaghetti, two way, and then you add cheese, and you can add onions and beans and the garlic, so you can yeah. make a combination. And you can put the garlic on anything you want too, if you want it on cheese cunnies, or you want it on salad, or, you know, uh, with the new computers, the, uh, the combinations are endless. endless. Combinations are endless. So <laughs> this is new to me. I can never say I didn't know oh. there was a chili salad. So chili right. salad is like it yeah, sounds like you a traditional try that iceberg one. lettuce with chili, cheese, and tomato. Oh, there's salsa and a ranch dressing. And there's a lot of good stuff in there. I guess I'm going to go for the sixth one. Yeah. Thank you. Got to join in on it. Wow. That is actually pretty darn good. Yeah, Has that always have... been on the menu? Well, in Long time. the last 20 years. I'm assuming customers can make the salad their own as well. Add a lot of different things on it. Okay. Or take things off. Take things off. Now we're on to the cheese coney. And mm. this is what I grew up eating all the time. I remember coming there, getting four or five of these on a Friday night after a Lloyd football game in Erlanger. It's pretty simple. It's a hot dog, it's chili, it's cheese. This one has onions as well on a bun. Mm. Am I missing anything there? No, you got it. There we go. So this is something you gotta have. I should get you a Coke. I think we'll get that afterwards. Okay. Well, I guess I'll eat a cheese bunny. No trick or cheese coney. I already as well. had one for breakfast already. <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast of champions. Desserts, all the locations have different desserts on display as well. Now uh, we have chocolate cake, carrot cake, cheesecake. Coconut cream pie, lemon meringue pie, and your favorite. Pecan pie. Pecan pie. <laughs> I've been getting that since I was a kid, and it's always, it was a staple. You had to have all of them. I always got lemonade. That was always what I got every time. Well, cool. Well, that's all we've got. Oh, you gotta, can't forget this. You got to, a lot of times, top your items off with oyster crackers and some hot sauce as well, so. And we have our own hot sauce now. You probably don't I didn't know, know that. that. No. You want to try it? I do want to try it. Hot okay, sauce. so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add this like I would all the time. I got to throw some oysters on here. And it's made with three different kinds of fresh peppers. Right here in Burlington, Kentucky. Right, locally, just down the street from our office right. and our headquarters are in Florence. Wow, that's good. Is that it's new? It's different, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Is that like a, is that new the last year or two? It, within the last year. Okay. Well, cool. So there's three locations. You said Covington. We're in Newport. And there's also Erlanger. Erlanger. They can find right. you on the websites. With Dick of course, we can the product too, and we're in all the groceries, yep. and or even in Walmart. Even in Walmart. Yep. Cool. So you can get it at one of the three locations. You can get it in your local grocery store, but this is definitely a restaurant that you can eat at, not weekly, but daily. Daily, right. That's all we got with America's Best Restaurants. You guys got to go because I got some eating to do.